Echo TV is a co-production of Minnesota's Emergency and Community Health Outreach and TPT's Minnesota Channel. Hello, my name is Dr. Stephen Kells, and I want to share some important information about how to control bed bugs by hand. I don't mean that you have to kill each bed bug with your bare hands, but these are important tips to help you control bed bugs if you cannot get help from your landlord or you cannot afford a professional pest control service. First, you'll need some basic supplies a flashlight so you can see the bed bugs, a thin card of some kind, like a playing card, an old credit card, or a bus pass a roll of sticky tape, hot soapy water in a cloth, plastic bags of various kinds, bed bug mattress encasements, and bed bug intercept traps. Controlling bed bugs requires creating a clean zone. This means emptying and thoroughly cleaning one part of one room. This is your clean zone. Then treat and move items and furniture into this clean zone. This way the clean zone expands as the room is completed. Working carefully will ensure that very little is missed. Repeat this process on each room of your home. Every room must be treated. This is where your tools come in handy. Use that plastic card to slide into gaps and seams, pushing any bed bugs out into the open. Keep things well lit with your flashlight. When you find a bed bug, kill it by crushing it. Or use strips of sticky tape to capture the bugs. If you have a vacuum cleaner, use it to capture bed bugs. It works great together with the plastic card. Work your way through every object in the room, moving inspected and cleaned items into the clean zone. When the room is empty, you can start inspecting the room itself. Start in the corners and edges. Slide your card into cracks and gaps behind baseboards and along carpet edges, any tight places where bed bugs love to hide. If the floor is carpeted, Clean it well with a vacuum cleaner. If the floor won't be damaged by water, clean it with hot soapy water. Also, clean around cracks and crevices, behind wall clocks and pictures, and other hiding places. In bedrooms, you should start with the beds, including the mattress, box spring, and frame. Bed bugs can hide almost anywhere, so check the seams. Remove all bedding and put it in a plastic bag to be laundered. Thoroughly inspect all sides of the mattress before lifting it. When ready, stand the mattress up so you can inspect the bottom side and then move on to the box spring. The bottom of the box spring is often covered by a thin piece of fabric. Remove this fabric to get access to the inside. Check the wood pieces, screw holes, springs, and any other areas where the bed bugs could hide. Once you're certain that there are no more bed bugs within the box spring, you can reattach the fabric covering. Check the bed frame carefully. Even metal or wood frames give bed bugs plenty of places to hide. Once the bed has been carefully inspected and treated, move to the other furniture. Check open spaces first, then inspect cracks, gaps, details, and any other places bed bugs can hide. Take out drawers and empty all contents for inspection and treatment. Bag any clothing or linens that can be laundered. Once you've fully inspected and cleaned that room, you can move all furniture back in and move to the next room. While reassembling beds, cover box springs or mattresses in mattress encasements designed for bed bugs. These are very helpful in preventing future infestations, making it easier to find bed bugs on the mattress and killing off any bed bugs remaining within the mattress. Repeat this process throughout your whole house. Take your time and do it right. Don't just do the bedrooms. Bed bugs can hide anywhere, especially in living room furniture, behind moldings, and even by hinges of a door. It's a lot of work, but if you don't treat your whole house, you're just giving the bed bugs a chance to survive and infest again. The only sure way to remove all bed bugs is to use a pest management professional, but you can greatly reduce the number of bed bugs in your home, and that helps keep you and your family safer. Remember, the worst thing to do is to do nothing. Thanks for watching, and I hope this information helps you deal with bed bugs in your home.